Hello guys, it's Natalia here. So the laptop I have with me today proves that high quality thin and light ultrabooks can also be extremely budget friendly. The Swift One gives an all day battery life in a sleek all metal design for a price of less than 500 pound. I'm just gonna say it, this might just be the best laptop for any budget conscious student. Let's take a look. The design of it is really quite classy, which is something you don't really expect to say for a laptop that comes in at a budget price point, but it is. The build is aluminium, it's not plastic, which gives it a really sturdy and sleek feel. And it's thin too, at less than 15 millimeters. And even though the build is made of metal, it's still lightweight. It weighs in at 1.3 kilograms, which is perfect for just throwing into a backpack. What is that thing? Now the chase is go. on. Don't make unnecessary journeys. This one's a 14 inch laptop, which is a great size for taking with you to use on the go, say if you're on a train or in a cramped library, because it's not gonna take up much room. And the chassis is really pretty. It comes in a few colors. It comes in this silver, a gold, and I think even a pink as well. And the color isn't just on the lid, but it's also on the whole body, which is a really nice touch. And I also like on the back here, there's a Swift imprinted on the hinge, which when open raises the laptop slightly, which is great for ventilation. The screen is a 1080p IPS panel, which means full HD resolution and great viewing angles. And it's matte coated too, which is great for reducing reflections under strong lights, which could be useful in a library or bright office space, or even if you have the pleasure to work outside. Thin bezels make the most of your screen space, and it comes with blue light technology to reduce eye strain during those late working hours. The keys on this laptop have a soft touch, which makes for a really easy and delicate typing, so long as you're not clunky and heavy-handed like I am. Years of punching into a gaming keyboard have ruined me. The keycaps are also a very pleasing matte black colour, which really pops against the chassis. And at the top here, you have these handy keys to easily change the brightness and the volume, which I really appreciate. Bit random, but on my current laptop, I first have to press the function key and then I have to press another key to adjust the brightness, which I can never seem to get right. I somehow will press every other button than the function key and before I know it, 50 tabs have popped open and sticky keys have been enabled. So yeah, I really appreciate laptops like the Swift One for keeping everything nice and simple. The trackpad here is really smooth and tall too, so you won't have to do any crazy scrolling to get to the bottom of a page. You also have an embedded fingerprint reader for faster logins and the benefits of Cortana as your personal assistant to open applications and schedule meetings. Now let's take a look at the ports and it actually has everything you might need. On this side, we have a teeny tiny power port. We have a full size HDMI, a USB type C, which is really nice to see and two USB 3.0 type A's. On the inside, we have an Intel Pentium Silver processor, which is quad core and has a low power consumption. So it's great for your everyday productivity that you can take with you on the go because it's not going to drain your battery. And the battery life on the Swift One is nothing short of amazing. It can last up to 15 hours. And if you're running low, you can get four hours of battery from just a 30 minute charge. This one is truly comfortably an all day battery even when you're writing away at documents and watching videos at the same time because the processor is so power efficient. And the laptop features Wi-Fi 6, so you can rely on your connectivity wherever you go. It also comes with 256 gigabytes of super fast SSD storage, which is plenty for your documents and media like music and photos, which is great for casual use or if you're using it for schoolwork. But the price is what makes the Swift One so dang appealing because it ranges from around 300 to 500 pounds depending on the model, which is crazy because with that you get a high quality all metal build, you have more functionality than say a Chromebook and it's all packaged up in a thin and light design. Now that's impressive. Let me know what you think of the Swift One down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Yes. Yes. For any budget conscious student. Budget conscience. Con <laughs> conscience? Conscious. Never mind. Be like, blah, 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 blah. Close. Should I look at the camera while I do it? Just hope I throw it in the right direction. Ye <laughs> you threw that way too low. I'm sorry. It's really sturdy. It just fell on the floor like it was fine. <laughs>